It was a light blue event which brings awareness to prostate cancer throughout the month of November, a well-known Movember. The awareness campaign was a month-long journey which encouraged no shaving hair among men to sympathize with cancer patients who lose their hair as the disease progresses. The aim of the event is to donate the money they typically spend on shaving and grooming their hair to educate the nation about cancer prevention, save lives and aid to those fighting the battle. The Ministry of Veterans marked the month with some men forgo shaving for the whole month, let legs go natural, skip wax appointments and saved the money they were supposed to spend on hair grooming. Together with fellow female staff members, they collected more than $6,000 among themselves, which they donated to the Cancer Association of Namibia for its activities. Staff members also dedicated the month to educate themselves about prostate cancer. It is important that we receive constant reminders about how important each one of us is and why we should make time to take care of ourselves health-wise. Let us all here today declare to start a new page, that of taking personal health is an important one. Prostate cancer is on the increase with 297 cases reported last year, up from 196 cases recorded six years ago. The cases may seem few, but the biggest challenge is that prostate cancer takes time to develop and show no immediate signs. Prostate cancer is one of those cancers that takes many years to develop or to progress. So usually if you get diagnosed by the age of 50, it means that the cancer has already started developing already 10 years back by the age of 40. Testicular cancer is also said to be prevalent among young people between the ages of 17 to 37. On average, hundreds of men are diagnosed with prostate cancer every year in Namibia and it is suspected that many more may have it not knowing about it, partially because most of them are afraid to go for screening, which is done rectally. Men are therefore encouraged to go for screening and know their status early enough. I'm Lamy Hengum reporting for NBC News.